Have you ever heard of a disease that can transform healthy proteins into destructive ones? Imagine a condition so severe that it rapidly deteriorates your brain, leading to symptoms akin to dementia. This isn't a scene from a science fiction novel, but a rare reality known as Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, or CJD. Affecting only one to two individuals in a million worldwide annually, it remains an enigma in the medical world. How can something so deadly be so rare? And why does it target certain age groups more than others? Welcome to our exploration of the mysterious and devastating Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease. The story of Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease begins in the early 20th century. This mysterious condition was first identified by two German neurologists, Hans Gerhard Creutzfeldt and Alphonse Maria Jakob. They discovered a rapidly deteriorating neurological disease characterized by dementia-like symptoms and named it after themselves. But the true cause of the disease remained a mystery for many years. It wasn't until the latter half of the century that the puzzle began to take shape. A landmark discovery was made when scientists identified the culprit behind this devastating disease, faulty proteins known as prions. Prions, unlike bacteria or viruses, are misfolded proteins that can trigger normal proteins in the brain to fold incorrectly. This accumulation of misfolded proteins is what leads to the rapid destruction of brain cells in individuals with Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease. The understanding of the disease's rapid progression was a significant challenge for researchers. Unlike many other neurological conditions, Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease progresses at a frightening speed. Most patients don't survive more than a year after the onset of symptoms. This rapid progression made it difficult for researchers to study the disease and has contributed to the lack of effective treatments or cures for CJD. In the early days, there were many misconceptions and myths about Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease. Some believed it was caused by a slow virus, while others thought it was purely genetic. The discovery of prions and the understanding of their role in the disease dispelled many of these misconceptions. But the prion theory wasn't widely accepted until the 1990s. The discovery of variant Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, or VCJD, in the late 20th century added another layer of complexity to our understanding of prion diseases. This variant is linked to the consumption of beef from cattle infected with bovine spongiform encephalopathy, commonly known as mad cow disease. This marked the dawn of our understanding of this strange and deadly disease. As the decades passed, our understanding of CJD deepened. We started piecing together the puzzle thanks to advancements in medical technology and research. The discovery of the prion, a faulty protein, was a groundbreaking moment. This revelation brought a new understanding of the disease and its mechanism. These rogue proteins, prions, were found to build up in brain cells, causing damage and destruction, leading to the rapid deterioration seen in CJD. Our understanding was further enhanced by the identification of the disease's genetic components. We discovered that 10 to 15 percent of CJD cases are inherited. This was a significant breakthrough as it shed light on why some individuals were more susceptible to the disease than others. It also raised new questions about the role of genetics in disease susceptibility, a topic that continues to be a focal point of research today, yet the evolution of knowledge didn't stop there. The end of the 20th century brought with it the discovery of variant CJD or VCJD, a new form of the disease. This subtype was linked to the consumption of beef from cattle infected with bovine spongiform encephalopathy, commonly known as mad cow disease. This revelation was a stark reminder of the complex interplay between human health and our environment and the potential for disease transmission across species. Despite these significant strides, studying CJD has been fraught with challenges. The disease's rarity, with only one to two cases per million people worldwide, makes it difficult to gather large samples for study. Furthermore, its rapid progression, often leading to death within a year of diagnosis, leaves a narrow window for research and intervention. Despite these advancements, CJD remained a mystery wrapped in a conundrum. As we continue to delve into the unknown, each new discovery brings us one step closer to unraveling the secrets of this deadly disease. Fast forward to the present day, and CJD still remains largely enigmatic. Our understanding of this disease, while improved, is still shrouded in mystery. We know that Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease is caused by misfolded proteins known as prions. 
These faulty proteins cause rapid and severe damage throughout the brain, leading to symptoms that often mimic dementia. Memory loss, thinking problems, and muscle spasms are common indicators. Yet, the rapid progression of the disease means that most people do not survive more than a year after diagnosis. CJD primarily affects people between the ages of 50 and 80, but the genetic form of the disease can strike earlier, between the ages of 30 and 50. This disease does not discriminate, affecting men and women at equal rates. A subtype of CJD, known as variant CJD, can be contracted by consuming beef from cattle infected with bovine spongiform encephalopathy, or BSE. However, these cases are exceedingly rare. Today, we face several challenges in our fight against CJD. The disease's rarity, with only one to two cases per million people worldwide, makes it difficult to study. The rapid progression of the disease also poses a significant hurdle. This quick deterioration often leaves little time for intervention once the disease is diagnosed. And perhaps most daunting of all, there is currently no cure or treatment for CJD. The prions that cause the disease convert normal proteins into more prions, causing a snowball effect that leads to rapid deterioration. Our current medical arsenal is ill-equipped to halt this process. Despite these challenges, ongoing research is dedicated to finding a treatment for CJD. Scientists are exploring various avenues, from studying the structure of prions to investigating potential therapeutic targets. Yet the complexity of the disease and the speed at which it progresses make this a formidable task. The quest for a cure continues, as does our fight against this deadly disease. The impact of CJD is far-reaching, affecting more than just the individuals diagnosed. It's a disease that leaves a profound mark, not only on the patient, but also on their loved ones, the medical community and society at large. Imagine a loved one suddenly showing signs of severe memory loss, thinking problems and muscle spasms. As the disease rapidly progresses, the person you once knew becomes almost unrecognizable, trapped in a deteriorating state with no cure or treatment to halt its course. The emotional toll, understandably, is immense. Families and friends are left to grapple with the reality of losing a loved one to this relentless disease, often within a year of diagnosis. Beyond the personal sphere, CJD also poses challenges to the medical community. The rarity of this disease, coupled with its rapid progression and the difficulty in distinguishing its symptoms from other brain-related conditions, makes it a complex puzzle for healthcare professionals. The need for early detection and accurate diagnosis is paramount, yet remains a significant hurdle. CJD's impact extends further to society at large. As a transmissible spongiform encephalopathy, it raises concerns about the safety of organ or tissue transplants and the risk posed by certain hormones. The variant form of CJD, linked to consuming beef from infected cattle, underscores the importance of food safety measures to prevent such outbreaks. In the face of these challenges, efforts are underway to raise awareness and support those affected by this disease. From research initiatives seeking to understand the workings of those faulty prions, to support groups providing a lifeline for families grappling with a CJD diagnosis, the response to CJD's impact is a testament to human resilience and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. The ripple effects of CJD are felt far and wide, reminding us of the importance of continued research and support. As we strive to unravel the mysteries of this devastating disease, we remain hopeful for breakthroughs that can change the course of CJD, bringing solace to those affected and ensuring a safer future for all. Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease is a fascinating and tragic example of the mysteries still surrounding the human brain. This rare degenerative condition is caused by faulty proteins known as prions, which rapidly damage brain cells, leading to a swift decline in cognitive and physical abilities. Most strikingly, the disease progresses at an alarming rate, with most individuals not surviving more than a year following diagnosis. Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease typically affects people between the ages of 50 and 80, but an inherited subtype can occur earlier. What's even more intriguing is the variant form of the disease, contracted through the consumption of beef from cattle infected with bovine spongiform encephalopathy. Despite its rarity, with one to two cases per million people worldwide annually, its impact is profound. It serves as a stark reminder of the complexities of the human brain and the devastating effects of its malfunction. 
there is currently no cure or treatment for this relentless disease, reinforcing the critical need for continued research and awareness. This devastating condition underscores the importance of understanding the brain's intricate workings, as it holds the key to unlocking the mysteries of not just Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, but countless other neurological conditions. As we continue to unravel the secrets of CJD, we are reminded of the power of medical science and the importance of perseverance in the face of adversity.